I'm Bobby Allen with Google Cloud. Uh, Keith Townsend has allowed me to take the whiteboard out for a test drive or the whiteboard out for a test drive. And so a couple of things I want to get to you today that may help you in your transformation journey. So people often ask me, Bobby, how do IT decision makers decide to move forward? And I want to give you a very simple diagram that's informed by many years of doing cloud computing startups and now being at Google Cloud for the past year or so. And I believe that decision makers typically like to operate at the intersection of these three circles. So one is, what's technically feasible? So technical feasibility, what's the art of the possible? What are the things that I should consider? The second one is what I call financial feasibility. How much is this gonna cost me? And then the third one is what I call execution feasibility. Please excuse my writing. This is a little bit harder on the whiteboard than Keith makes it look on Twitter. But I would argue that decision makers wanna be right here in the intersection of those things. Talk to me about what's possible, talk to me about how much it is, and then Bobby, can you actually do number three, the things that you say are possible? And so this is where an IT decision maker wants to sit, right in the middle of all these three things. Is the juice worth the squeeze? Can you do it? And is it a compelling enough vision for me to sell to some of the people? Now this diagram kind of informs the way Google thinks about transformation. I'm gonna draw a different diagram on this side that shows how we help people have conversations around modernization. So think of this box as your customer environment. And what we've done is we've introduced a tool called MFIT, our fit assessment tool that assesses part of the customer environment, but it doesn't assess everything. And so this is the scope of MFIT, which really is typically a virtualized environment. Take your VMware environment. Over here would be things like Solaris. This would be things like bare metal. This would be things like mainframe. Just do mainframe as, as an abbreviation. So all of these things are out of scope for MFIT. And so you've got your customer environment. You have MFIT in terms of what you can assess to show which VM-based applications can move to containers or servers. And then inside of MFIT, you've got three different servers. And I'll explain what these are. This circle is what we call M to C. These are things that you've assessed in your environment that can automatically move from VMs to containers or servers. And there's tooling that we have that can automatically do this. The other apps that you're going to assess in the data center that need to stay on VMs. We call this moving to VMs or migrate to VMs. But then there are other things that are going to be going to do an abbreviation here for advisory. Think of this as consulting. So you have your scope of your whole environment for which you want to look at for modernization. You have MFIT, which is Google's fit assessment tool to see which can be, what things can be modernized. And then when you look at that, there's some things that can be containerized automatically with our tooling. There's some things that are going to go to VMs with our tooling. And then there's some things that have to be advisory or traditional consulting. What do I mean by that? Everything that you want to modernize cannot be automatically done. Some things have to be people. You have to look at code. You have to talk to people. You have to understand requirements. Now, the goal is that over time, we can automatically assess even more. So this box will get bigger, right? We can assess more and more in the environment, maybe one day a Solaris, a bare metal, a mainframe, more than just a virtualized environment. And over time, this bubble will get bigger and this bubble will get smaller meaning there's going to be more that we can automatically modernize and there's going to be less that we have to rely on manual consulting for. So what's my point? When you make a case to decision makers, make sure you're compelling in terms of the tech, the money, and what's possible. And when you want to assess the possibilities, make sure you set expectations that everything in the environment may, may not be able to be assessed and everything may not be able to be automatically, right, and I'm making up a word there, automatically modernized. This is what we're shooting for. Recognize how small this box is compared to the entire environment. There's a vision that this is going to get bigger, but today everything cannot be automatically modernized in the environment. This is why you need to bring in people to do an assessment, bring in partners, talk to Google Cloud, talk to analysts like Keith Townsend to understand how much of your environment can fit in this box today versus what needs to stay on VMs or go to consultants. I'm Bobby Allen. This is your short uh, CTO dose on the light board. Uh, stay with Keith for more valuable information about what's happening in the industry and more ways to modernize your applications.